Hello there, it's Don here once more and I'm going to show you how I go about making my tiled roofs. Uh, this is the tiled roof that I made for the house for uh, 10 Rillington Place. So uh, that's, that's what we're going to try to achieve. So I'll just put that to one side and I've made a house. A little cardboard house there. Uh, and we're going to put a tiled roof on there. So what we need is very, very thin cardboard. One millimeter or even thinner than that, really. Uh, and each tile is going to be three eighths of an inch square uh, or nine millimeters. That is about a one to thirty five scale size of, of an average size slate. So uh, we're going for three eighths square. Um, so what we need to do is cut our cardboard to just a little bit wider than the roof of the house or whatever whatever building you're, uh, you're making. So that will be just a little bit wider. And then lengthwise it needs to be four times the length of one side of the roof. So whatever dimension that is, then you need a piece of card four times as long. Then what you need to do is mark along three, eight, well, nine millimeters. Every, uh, every space is three eighths or nine millimeters all the way along there, all the way along the length of the card and also the, the width along there, that's three eighths as well. Then with a the pencil, mark every other line as I've done here. So we've got every other line marked with a, a pencil and uh, the, every other line will be uh, will cut with a sharp knife. If I can do this uh, without cutting my fingers off. There we go. So that's what we've got. So we'll need, well, 18 of these. Uh, this length is uh, uh, just wider than the roof and uh, we've got uh, 3 8 size tiles all the way along there. Then with a pair of scissors we cut along the line to just above the halfway mark. So that cut is just just fractionally uh, longer than, than where the, uh, the center pencil line is. And we need to do that all the way along there. Like so. And each one of these is going to be one tile. It's because when we stick it onto the roof, the next tile is going to overlap. So all we'll see is uh, a nine millimeter square uh, showing as a as a tile, a slate rather, not tile. Okay, so I will cut all those now, and then uh, stick them onto the uh, roof of the house, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I've cut all these strips. Uh, into length and uh, with scissors cut uh, cut all the shape of the slates all the way along all uh, all 19 18 of them I've done one side just stuck those on there and uh, the reason they're a little bit longer than the actual uh, roof is that uh, you have to overlap the slates so I'll have to snip that off a little bit <laughs> there so that when that goes on the slates uh, interlock rather than all being the same, uh, same position. So that will go there. And then you've got the line, the uh, pencil line there as to where the slates go to. 
So I'll just do one. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Just ordinary PVA glue. There we go. So I'll continue this side with the, the rest of the, the rest of my strips, and then when I get to the top, I've just made these simple little ridge tiles, uh, nine, 18 millimeters by uh, by one inch, 25 millimeters, and they will sit along the top there with a slight gap between just to show that they're the ridge tiles on the top there. Okay, so I'll carry on and finish off the tiling and then uh, we'll, we'll paint it. Okay, so I've uh, finished the tiling, put the ridge tiles on the top there and painted it grey. Uh, rather than just a, a flat paint, I, uh, I mix some filler, some uh, wall filler with some, a little bit of water and some black paint to make it grey. And it just gives it a little bit of texture so that when you come to dry brush, it picks up, uh, it picks up the, the texture there and gives it a bit more of a highlight. Um, I can show you an example of the finished thing on a, a different diorama that I made. So they're the finished tile, tiled slate roofs. Uh, they're finished there. Oh, let's put the camera down. Okay, so that's my idea of uh, quick and easy slate roofs. Um, if you're doing World War II dioramas then I think most buildings had slate roofs some had tiles but it's uh, nice and easy and very cheap just a, a piece of thin cardboard that's all you need so there you go there they are my slate roofs so thank you very much for watching uh, if you've liked the video please click like and subscribe and I will be back very shortly with another video. Thank you for watching.